are beautiful. You are strong. You are love. You deserve to have the life you desire. It doesn't matter what others say about you. It's about what you say about you. You are worthy. Welcome back to my channel, You Are What You Think. Today I'm going to be talking with you all about eternal peace and how you can create it within your own life. So I want to kind of start by going into why and how we react to different things that may affect us within our daily life. And of course, you all know the first thing I'm going to talk about is road rage because it's one we all can kind of relate to or have experienced within some point of our life. And so I know that I personally had terrible road rage for years, <laughs> no car accidents, but terrible road rage because I was just so focused on what I had going on, not really considering that other person. And so I did some digging into trying to like understand why it is we react to things so irrationally and of course you're probably like it's not irrational my feelings matter what i have to do is important and you're not wrong however what someone else has going on and what may be going on within their life may be slightly more important if you knew what it was and so i'm here to tell you that you need to first Probably write down what affects you the most within your day-to-day -day life that you realize upsets you, throws your day off, or gets under your skin. And then just take, take a step back, look at that, and from there, just like do a little bit of thinking as to why you think these things affect you because there's probably a deeper, you know, understanding as to why you feel the way you do and then try to look at it from someone else's point of view as if you are the other person and so what i did was i was like okay well i have to get to work and i have to be on time or i don't want to be late for the movie or i'm hungry as hell i want to go get some food <laughs> i ain't ate all day and then i think like okay well there are millions and billions and trillions of people in the world, right? And they all have a whole bunch of other things going on. And so I actually was like, well, just because I'm hungry and I'm going to go get some food, that doesn't mean that the person that just jumped in front of me or cut me off isn't pregnant, about to deliver a baby in the car and has to get to the hospital or doesn't mean that that person is injured terribly or going through pain or trying to rush a relative that needs to get to the hospital there because it's actually an emergency. And so I think that kind of changed my way of thinking when it came to my different things going on in my life being important versus what other people have going on. And that kind of created a sense of peace within me that made it so that I'm not so like, I gotta get you know from A to B by a certain time and I'm gonna go 100 and if someone cuts me off I'm gonna cuss them out and make it so no one can get over and just a whole bunch of other crazy things and I'm just like it ain't that serious you know I'm alive I'm healthy I'm gonna be okay if I'm five minutes late or better yet next time I'm gonna leave the house maybe five or ten minutes early so I ain't gotta rush <laughs> Because at the end of the day, we all know that most of the times when we are late, when we are frustrated, that it is on us 100%. So I'm here to tell you that you need to reevaluate the reason as to why you react the way you react and then change the way you think about that certain thing or that maybe that person so that you don't have to keep and hold on to that stress or that anger because that affects us more than us cussing somebody out in a whole nother car they can't hear us i realized how crazy that was like the last time i probably flipped someone off like they didn't even see me they were probably minding their own business had somewhere to go and was not thinking about me definitely not two minutes after it occurred however anger stays within our body and affects us way longer than that incident. So 
If it's something that doesn't affect you 30 seconds later, let it go, walk away from it, and just choose a better road because <laughs> it is not that serious. It really is not. And so I've actually practiced working on my anger when it came to road rage, I want to say about a year and a half ago. And like now it's easy for me. I just kind of chill out and keep going about my business. If I'm going to be late, I'm going to be late. Sometimes I still push on the gas a little bit, but not to the point to where I might get stopped and get a ticket or, you know, I might injure or hurt someone else not paying attention to the road, just focused on getting from point A to point B. And so in closing, I want to say that you are entirely in charge of how you react and how you feel about the different situations or things that occur within your life on a daily. So just take a breather. If you don't know how to react, if you don't want to get upset, if you don't want that to, that thing to affect your day in a negative way, just take a deep breath, walk away from the situation, reevaluate and come back because that is going to save a lot of gray hairs. <laughs> We're all going to get them eventually. We don't need to be getting them at 30 or 40. We can wait until we like 60, late 50, 70, you know, when we supposed to get gray hair. Because aging slowly and how nature intended is way more beautiful than rushing that by being stressed out and angry at the world. So I just want you all to know that you are in charge of your own peace. It is entirely up to you. And so you can't blame others and put other people in charge of your own peace. And so I feel like that ultimately creates your eternal peace everywhere because it starts from within. And then you'll start to realize as you practice this that you was getting mad for nothing. You were getting upset for nothing, that it wasn't that important, and that the things you have to do within your day, just stay focused on that, you know? Just be ch just chill, just chill. That's really what it is, just relax, just chill and go through the day in a peaceful state of mind because that alone will just change how you react to things. As long as you th take a deep breath and just say, it's okay, it's not that serious, I'm gonna be good, you're gonna be good, okay? So thank you all for watching. I just want you to know, and I don't want you to forget, remember, you are in charge of your own destiny. Peace and love. Until next time, live well.